Hey everyone, it's David at Finish Line Factory. I'm here. And it's Stuart from Finish Line Factory. <laughs> I've wanted to fuck up the intro for so long. Oh yeah, bastard. Hey everyone, this is David at Finish Line Factory. We're here today at uh, Palm Beach International Raceway. It's uh, crunch time five. They're having drag racing, grudge racing, and all kinds of racing. No Tom Nationals, yep. D-League shootout, 890 index bikes tonight. Yep, yep. We're set up here today as vendors. We got uh, all the Finish Line Factory shirts, merchandise, fitted posts and fittings, all the cool shit. Uh, we're wearing matching shirts because we're weird. Because we're a business. We're a business. We're, we're a professional business. We're wearing matching shirts because we're a uh, we're a professional business. Yes. Let's go with very, that. Very very professional. Let's go with that. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, yeah. Should we explain a little bit of what's going on tonight? So what's going on tonight? So um, Crunch Time Five is an event put on here at Palm Beach International Raceway by a very good friend of mine, actually one of my coworkers, uh, Chuck G. Um, if you're at Palm Beach International Raceway a lot, uh, you might know Chuck G. Um, he's been organizing races here for about, God, 20 years now, 20 or 30 years. Mm. Um, so basically Crunch Time 5 is, uh, it's grudge racing. And if you're unfamiliar with grudge racing, grudge racing, to boil it down into its simplicity, grudge racing is basically, hey, I got a little bit of a problem with you. You were talking shit last week. But uh, instead of me coming to your house and fight you, let's take our cars to the drag strip. Okay, so it's a non-violent way of settling... Kind of, yeah, I mean, that's boiled down to its simplicity. But um, the, the cool thing about grudge racing is that all the cars are kind of evenly matched. So, you know, yeah, there are guys who are really fast, and there are guys who are kind of fast, but for the most part, the guys who are calling each other out are kind of evenly matched. So, say for instance, you know, I say, okay, I've got a uh, twin-turbo small block small block Chevy, like a twin turbo LS. You may have a, uh, a small block Chevy and LS on spray. We'd be pretty evenly matched. So all grudge racing is heads up, pro tree, eighth mile, no time. And there's a difference here. And David actually asked about it. So you have cars that'll roll up to the strip and they'll either say NT, PT, or ET on the back of them. ET obviously is elapsed time. That means they show the time up on the scoreboards at the end of the run. Uh, NT means no time. No time means it's wind lights or nothing. We're not going for, oh, who had the better 60 foot? Who had the better, uh, mile. yeah, who had the better reaction time? Who had the better eighth mile? That's not what we're going for. There, it's wind lights or nothing with grudge racing. So that's why they call it no time. They don't show the time up on the scoreboard. And people actually get really touchy if you talk about times with grudge racing. Yeah. Um, because it reveals like a lot it. about the car. It reveals a lot about how they get out of the hole, how their big end is, how their shift times are. It reveals a lot about the cars, which is what's cool about no time racing, actually. Okay. Is that it's kind of like, it's not like, oh, I had a better 60 foot. It's, I'm faster. That's all it is. It's wind lights or nothing. And I've seen grudge races where people get cocky. Oh, yeah? That's the cool thing about grudge racing is people get cocky. I saw a dude who had beef with somebody, organized a grudge race, and said, hey, this is how we're gonna do it. Heads up, pro tree, eighth mile, I'm gonna let you get the hit. Which means he basically lets him take off first. Yeah. He goes, I'm gonna let you clear my bumper before I go off. And if I, and you can add rules to it if you're calling somebody out. He said, if I don't clear your bumper in the eighth, you take the money. Grudge racing is all for money. Oh, wow. That's the big thing, is that it's all for money. I've seen, fit there. there's actually a $50,000 race going on here tonight, I believe. What time? We're going to catch that. Uh, that's probably going to be around 10 o'clock. So, we'll hit it. Uh, you know, he said, hey, if I don't get, if I don't clear windy. your bumper, it is really windy. Yeah, look right here. So if, I don't, if I don't clear your bumper in the eighth mile, you can take home the money. It was like a $1,000 race. And he goes, you can take the money. And sure enough, he cleared him by a bumper. But you can add rules like that yeah. if you're really, really it's cocky. A more fun. And he was a really fast car, too. That's why he said that. He goes, I'll tell you what, I'll let you get the hit, and if I don't clear your bumper, you can take the money home. Okay. That's how confident I am, which is what's cool Damn. about grudge racing. The only thing is I did see security up on the track, so I'm not sure we're going to be able to get as close to the tree as we used to. Um, we'll see, we'll see. Because the last time I was here, I was sitting on the wall right next to the tree. Like, just hanging out on the wall with maybe my beer feet. Some, maybe there's feet. some incident. Somebody died a couple of days ago here at Palm oh. Beach. Somebody on the track, the instructor. Yeah, yes, yeah, the instructor that. died. Yes. Yep. I mean, that, uh, that wasn't the road course. Though. That wasn't on. Uh, that wasn't on the drag strip. That was on the road course. Yeah, yeah. it's still it's still very sad. Uh, yeah. Condolences to the family. Peter and London, R.I.P. Yeah, condolences to the family and yeah, to all those greats. involved. That was. Uh, he was a very good instructor. Yes, that's what I've heard. You know, condolences to him and his family. You know, yeah. that's uh, that's obviously a sad thing when a member of our community dies. Yeah. Um, so. But anyway, let's uh, 
get set up and let's go check it out. All right. All right, guys. So I'm gonna hand the camera off to Stuart. He's gonna hand him a vlog for now. We're set up here. I'm gonna you know try to sell some posts and things. So, Stuart, good luck, everybody. Good luck. <laughs> you might die. We're not gonna die. I promise you that. All right, so we're gonna take you on over to the strip. Um, this is where all the action starts, man. So right now we got some D-League stuff going on. General Saturday night runs. Uh, make sure before I cross, the staging lane's here. And you know what? Let's take a uh, let's take a walk through the staging lane, shall we? This is one of the fastest grudge cars in the country, man. At least in South Florida. Poison. So this is a no-time car. I believe it's an LS motor. So uh, what kind of motor are we running in this? Chevy, baby, Chevy, Chevy. Small block Chevy. Small block Chevy? Yep. Nitrous? Yep. Absolutely, man. Woo Got a few more Fox bodies. Fox bodies are actually really popular down here. Uh, it's a cheap platform to start with. So one, two, there's another one there. There's another one there. There's uh, another one back there. There's one here. There's a lot of Fox bodies here, man. Really, really, really hopped up. Uh, New Edge right there. You get a lot of good shit out here. Couple of Pro Mods here. These boys are fast too. So Palm Beach Hot Rods got one of their cars out here tonight. And you got Shaft racing over there, their GTO. Chris Paleo runs this car. So we got some donk action going on tonight. And yes, if you're wondering, they're very fast. Look at them four Giatos, man. Holy crap. Hollywood Customs. That's one of their cars. All right, so the first round of the D-League shootouts is about to come up. Uh, just saw a couple test hits. I'm going to some really good racing tonight. Uh, I see Chuck G over there on the strip who uh, got us in here. We sponsor his event, and uh, he was very, very happy to invite us out. All right, so this is the first D-League shootout round. So we're going to see what happens. We got uh, two Mustangs here. We got a new edge, and there's a red box body in that lane. right lane winning right there now remember these are eighth mile races not quarter mile and these are pro tree races so when you look at that tree go you're gonna get your pre-stage your stage all three yellows and then your green four tenths of a second later Oh, it's on fire. Oh, man. 
I really hope he's okay. He's on this side. He rolled the wall on that side. I only caught the last half of that, too. Yeah, it was Ronnie who just crashed. Wow. Did you get it all? I did, I got him when he was past me. Because I was focusing Wait, on the Were any you guys like further down on that side of the wall? That's the man who runs this event. This is Chuck G. Uh, this is his event. He's a big man out here. Uh, Chuck, you want to talk a little bit about what your event, what, what the cr event is? Crunch time five. Look at this. Crunch time five. All the smoke. No time grudge racing. We got D League going down. That's our special class we have. Invite. Uh, we got 890 bikes index that's going down tonight. You need to come out. We're at Palm Beach. This is a great event to be at. Chuck puts on a really, really good event. Um, this is one of my really good friends. Uh, this is really, really, really cool stuff, actually. You know, for a lot, a lot of our viewers aren't really into drag racing. They're more road racers and drifters. Even if you're not into drag racing, this is a cool event to come out to. There's yeah. a lot of different stuff out here and a lot of really fast cars. That's right. That's a, a man of different people. Team. And we got a lot of photographers out here, too. Absolutely. Hard target image right there. Chris Legg, Jennifer Legg. So that's the man Chug G. That's the man who runs this event. And we're actually out on the strip right now. I went in and I got my, uh, got my media bib. And uh, we're just out here chilling right now. So uh, since the events that transpired recently, you're not allowed to be on the... It used to be if you just had one of these, you could get on the strip and you could stand pretty much anywhere. Um, now that's not the case anymore. They want you to have a media bib. Um, so I went up, I got my media bib. So now I'll be able to get some better footage. Hopefully stand like right behind the cars as they're launching. Uh, maybe we'll walk a little bit down the strip a bit and get them as they're coming towards us. So currently we are waiting for uh, the safety team to finish cleaning up the track of any debris, uh, finish putting some more prep down, and uh, then we'll start to roll again. We got a donk ready in the staging lanes. We got a couple of fox bodies. That'll be some good stuff. But the driver did make it out of that okay. Um, that was a really scary crash. He got up on the bumper and uh, started walking the throttle. When he walked that pedal, he rolled over into the wall and uh, bounced off of it. And that's where you saw the footage of him coming across and hitting the wall and catching on fire. Um, that was a really, really scary crash. But uh, he made it out of it okay. Car's a little battered, but he's okay. That's good to know. All right, we're starting back up. Uh, this is a grudge race going down, so uh, we're going to go catch that. And uh, Tony Wright said it there. Uh, he knocked the tires off on the start there. So this is what's great about grudge racing, man, is uh, you never really know what's going to happen. Um, he knocked the tires off on the start there. And uh, I should say, this is what's great about all racing, you know, especially drag racing. You really never know what's going right, to happen. We got so we got some bikes coming up here. And the bikes motorcycle. are cool. These are all 890 index bikes, which means they run around an 8.9 second quarter mile. <laughs> So two high abuses going at it.
totally gave that pass away. Sorry about my camera work there. Uh, I'm still getting used to this whole uh, vlogging thing. Um, he really gave it away there. Jumped the start, red lighted. Um, I'd like to see them line up and do it again because that was like a Old school four cylinder bike. That's super got cool, rear man. Lights on. We wow. Got rear lights on. That means we got to stop that. for a minute. We got to check the other end. Got to make sure the other bike got off the track. That is a fast freaking bike, man. Especially if you're doing one of those old style uh, air-cooled four cylinders. Um, that's a kind of bike you'd see in like the uh, late 70s, early 80s, maybe the early 90s. That's a really fast for a bike of that style. Watch a donk about to make a pass. Look how big the wheels are. Oh my God. Something's wrong with the nitrous. That was a very, very quick pass, and that was just a shakedown. Now, the question is, have you ever seen a donk move that fast? I guarantee not, unless you stay up with the scene. My problem is that uh, Blue Magic isn't here tonight, and he's got a really, really, really quick vert. Um, I believe his vert's a 73 Impala, um, and he's very, very quick, but it's, it's broken right now, unfortunately. I would have loved to see him out here tonight, because that is a very, very quick car. So we got two Pro Mods rolling up in the lanes right now. That's a uh, that's a Chevelle, and that's a GTO.
That's what we call a blown motor. <laughs> Get a little bit of information that uh, that donk that we saw do that shakedown. If all goes well and he can keep doing hits like that, he's racing for twenty-one thousand dollars tonight. That's a lot of scratch. So uh, hopefully we'll be around when that race happens. Um, I'm going to go back to the booth. I'm going to go check on Dave real quick. That's Chuck G Entertainment right there. You see it. You see it. Oh, you got me on video? <laughs> saved it too. He really, really just saved it. That could have been really bad. That could have been like Ronnie's Mustang earlier, that green new edge SN95. Uh, he saved that. He saved that good. Lights are still on, so the car still has power. Oh, he's moving again. Yep, he's under his own power, so he's good. I would hate to see that car hit the wall. I really, really like that car. This is the guy that might be racing uh, Hollywood Customs for $21,000 tonight, I believe. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be racing him tonight. That wasn't a very good hit. That was an insanely quick pass. Well, dang. That's not good. Yeah, that is really not good. So that Bel Air in the uh, right lane came down a little hard on the track. Uh, you saw the sparks coming out from under him and uh, there's some white spots that I showed down there where he came down, which we're hoping is just the prep being lifted off the track. They've got the sweeper and all the track prep equipment out again. It's just, this is like the fourth or fifth time that this has happened tonight, but uh, we've had some really solid racing in between, which is great. So uh, I would call that a pretty successful night for my first night of vlogging solo. Not bad, not bad. David pretty much ran the booth and uh, it's it start, it's, you know, 1135. So it's actually starting to die a little bit. Right yeah, now. everybody's kind of winding down. So we packed yeah. up the booth. We're good to go. Uh, I had a lot of stickers, t-shirts. We had a cards. really successful business day. Yeah, yeah. We so, really did. Yeah. I mean, we had a very, very, very successful business day. Yeah, so um, made it, a lot more connections than we usually do. Yeah. So thank you guys for watching. If you need anything, hit up finishlinefactory.com. We got fittings, weld bungs, hoses, hose ends, adapters, fuel filters, stickers, shirts, uh, everything. Everything you need for your Everything fuel except the kitchen sink. Everything except the kitchen sink. Well, we have that too. Do we have a kitchen sink? No. There's a raccoon over there. There's a, ra there's a raccoon over there? There's a raccoon. Oh. So anyway, uh, thank you all for bearing with me through my first night of kind of handling the camera solo. Um, hopefully my footage is yeah, a okay. Yeah. Awesome, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Catch you later. See ya. Bye. Thanks very much, guys. See ya.